Good afternoon. I'm Andy Quinn, and I'm the uh, founder and CEO of Between MD. So, I bring some deep healthcare knowledge into this uh, mobile health space. Um, back in 2002, I joined a company called Quick Compliance, uh, and up until uh, the end of last month, we provided online HIPAA and medical education. Uh, we initially started out with uh, WellPoint and Anthem, training their you know, roughly 20 to 25,000 users with job specific functions around HIPAA compliance. And then we moved into most of the Blue Cross Blue Shields in the US. Plus, uh, then we moved into pharmaceutical companies and leading medical device companies, providing uh, education for disease states and for new product launches. Uh, next slide, please. <clears throat> These solutions initially focused on online education courses. Uh, so we developed over 570 courses and deployed them to over 2 million users, uh, both on our own platform uh, and others. Uh, the company basically went from uh, startup to 2.5 million revenue first full year, 3.5 the second, and then we sold the company twice. Um, some of the solutions we provided were really exciting uh, as uh, we moved into the mid-2000s and late 2000s. We started doing multi-language uh, games to help launch products across multiple countries. So uh, for Abbott, we launched a 21 countries, 7 language a new product launch game. And then we also did gamification incentive solutions for doctors, nurses, uh, salespeople, and uh, patients. Uh, and it was kind of in, in one of those early solutions with discovery, probably in 2008, uh, where we're doing something with juvenile diabetes, where uh, the chief medical officer there said to me, geez, it would be great someday if we could have a device track what goes on with a, uh, a juvenile patient, provide that information to their parents, uh, so if their blood pressure, blood glucose is high or low, the parents are, is aware of it, but also provide them education in a way that a child or a teenager can understand. And that's uh, kind of where we're going with Between MD. Uh, so when we formed Between MD, we provided a license for all the prior solutions uh, from Quick Compliance uh, that are non-HIPAA over to Between MD. Next slide. So current uh, current situation is we of course have billions of dollars wasted in, in solutions to make key stakeholders in healthcare happy. Uh, I don't know if anyone's tried to use a patient portal, but that has not worked well uh, from many people's perspectives, uh, and we've got an insufficient number of focus on the individual care goals. Uh, so most doctors will tell chronic patients, eat better, take your meds, lose weight and exercise more. Uh, there's no personalization. You walk out of the office and you forget what you're doing. And the other thing we discovered is when you focus on illness, nobody pays attention. Next slide. Uh, and so what we've seen is multiple point solutions, many silos covering multiple chronic diseases, uh, and there's no scalable connection between the tools and the patient, and uh, our perspective is a lot of these might not be commercially viable on their own. Next slide, please. So as we formed between MD, our focus was to help keep people's health on track, and to do that where most people's health occurs. Uh, you know, more than 98% of our time for the average person is spent outside of a doctor's care but we really don't remember what to do. You get discharged, you don't remember what to do. You don't uh, remember to tell your wife or who your caregiver is what to do. Uh, and so the focus of our whole medical system is focused on, on brief interludes with our doctors, whereas most of our time is, is not getting the right support there. We also changed our focus to where the financial impact is greatest, uh, which is the self-insured employers, uh, by providing them solutions as uh, their paying a significant portion of our healthcare costs. And we initially, we're now focusing our products specifically on two major areas. One is metabolic syndrome, um, which according to the uh, Chief Medical Officer of Aetna is the number one unmet problem in the US. US. And of course, chronic disease, which is the number one cost driver. Next slide. <clears throat> so, uh, brief company history. Uh, we formed uh, March of last year. Uh, assigned assets in, uh, provided some self-funding and got some angel investing. We rolled out a beta app, which uh, got some screenshots of there. Uh, one of the key learnings we got from that beta app is we initially went out with uh, diabetes and some COPD information, and the feedback we got from patients was, uh, I'm not my disease, I'm who I am. Uh, and so we changed our whole model to focus on assessment, monitoring, guidance in providing personalized information. We're selected as a New England Health Tech 
uh, Disruptor Watch last year. In October, we rebranded the company uh, to focus on our, our focus on the patient uh, and did a development relationship with Kiwi Tech, which is critical as they're uh, experts in content management. We've got a full-time team of nine people that started in December uh, working on our product, which will be ready for September 1st launch. And we're now focused on metabolic syndrome, uh, which is the massive untapped market. Uh, our clinical team is leaving the company to focus on clinical research. Our platform is currently 80% complete. Next slide. We think the ACA creates an, an interesting financial opportunity for both insurance companies, corporations, and brokers uh, in that uh, with capped returns on insurance, uh, we think a lot of the larger insurance companies will move to the self, uh, support the self-insured market, which means that uh, solutions like ours, which can help provide immediate uh, benefit to employers and uh, the employees, I think will be uh, well accepted. Uh, and almost half of the Americans who are currently working are covered by self-insured employers. Next slide. Current traction. Um, so I've focused on a couple key things here. Uh, GC7X is an interesting uh, solution in the metabolic syndrome space. We had them out in Los Angeles. Uh, the inventor of that uh, product has been nominated for two Nobel Prizes. Uh, so we'll be launching in September a 90-day program to help manage metabolic syndrome with them. Uh, Kiwi Tech, I mentioned, we're working with in terms of development. Redox is one of our partners for EHR integration. We've had some conversations with Sanofi, and we'll be partnering with Viosk for quick 30-second videos. Next slide. So uh, focus is really on assessing uh, to see where people are. Next slide. Monitoring people to keep them focused on uh, take their, their information. So one of the things I learned personally is when my weight goes up 10 pounds, my blood pressure goes up 10 points. And I think one of the challenges for us is we don't have a good correlation as human beings as to what these medical metrics mean and how our, our bodies work. And next slide. Uh, so we're focused on providing short guidance. Uh, one of the interesting things, our games uh, back in 2007 had 45 second intros. We had to move to seven second intro in 2012 because we, uh, our attention spans drop that much. So our guidance is short 15 to 30 second videos. Next slide. Here's an example of our fully responsive solution. As I mentioned, it's about 80% done. So it works on both mobile, and next slide please, uh, and uh, admin and, and patient side. We're focused on care paths. Care paths are created algorithmically every time an input is put into the system. There's effectively an additional uh, data element that's added to the patient's uh, path. Next slide, please. And we've got a scalable admin function. Um, so in, in looking at past solutions that I've done, especially with all the HIPAA laws, we understand very carefully uh, what information can be made available to doctors, insurance companies, corporations. Uh, and we've also created a caregiver function so that my wife can see how I'm doing if I give her permission. Next slide, please. So we're focused on, on using data in terms of understanding how uh, product usage, and so product means every assessment, every um, integration with a mobile device, uh, every uh, video that someone watches. We're watching pharmacy refill data. We've got the ability to check and see what's going on with secure messaging, and everything we've done with the system has been built on an API uh, model so that we can partner effectively with other good solutions out there. Uh, and our inputs, as I mentioned, drive the individualized experience. Next slide. In addition to myself, uh, we have uh, some great people on our team. AJ Mainai is our chief strategy officer. AJ, AJ has worked with Blue Cross Blue Shield in Massachusetts and is a master at, at helping take health information and making it actionable. Uh, and then we've got a, a board of advisors, uh, including uh, someone who's worked with the, Dr. Mainai, who's worked with the Cleveland Clinic. Uh, Christine Skelly, who has been a former chief of staff at Aetna. Next slide. We're looking at later this year, as I mentioned, to launch in September. First six months revenue, uh, we think will be booked out for 500K in revenue between September and, and the end of February, uh, moving up to about uh, $3 million in total revenue by the end of 2018 uh, and moving to profitability in 2018. Next slide. Our use of capital is to complete our, our technical development 
to bring on talent acquisition and to focus on marketing initiatives, uh, effectively uh, selling directly to both insurers, and, uh, I'm sorry, self-insured employers and the brokers who support them. Thank you and look forward to your questions. Okay, thanks Andy, appreciate uh, the presentation there and everyone just so you know we're running a, probably about five minutes behind, we're gonna do a quick five minute QA and uh, handle as many questions as we can get in that period. Uh, Andy will get to the rest of you after hours like the other group and we'll go ahead and start with our first question here. If you haven't typed any of your questions in, please do now. Uh, make sure we've got a lot of those to take care of before time's up here. Um, so Andy, first question is how does your revenue model work? So revenue model is based on a, a base price per user of $2 per employee per month and then each additional condition at uh, uh, whatever the content cost for that is. And that could range from $1.50 to $5.50. Okay. Uh, next question is, let's see, trying to sort out between the different presentations here. Are you planning a um, cash dividend? 8%. Okay, great. And what kind of metrics do you measure during beta testing? So we measure everything. Uh, so we measure every uh, login, every activity that's used, what is not used, uh, integration with various devices, uh, if the patient's taking their medications or not. Um, wow. Uh, and also we have uh, proprietary assessments uh, that help drive then further engagement. Okay, great. Uh, in the financial model, I believe this is referred to uh, from Michael, why do the revenues not go up? There are some ups and downs. Uh, so we view uh, with self-insured employers that there's going to be different types of uh, uh, well, revenues go up and down. I'll have to take a look more carefully. In general, we think there's different times of the years where we'll see greater growth. Um, so I'll have to look at that specifically and respond to Michael. I, I might have misread it. It says why they not steadily go up. So in other words, I think it's it might be showing that there's um, just it's not linear or something like that. Right. Yeah. Well, I think we we assumed you know as as we've watched, I think one of the questions asked earlier was around uh, engagement. Uh, we expect that this won't work for certain companies, uh, and that's the the simple answers. We think about eighty percent of the people will stay on board. Okay. Great. Uh, from Fred, are you open to licensing other companies' technology to help your development, or is everything developed in house? So that's a great question. Uh, we built a, an open API so that we can integrate with other technologies. Um, our goal was to have a platform that we could work with other technologies with. So I think the answer would be we're happy to partner with certain things. Uh, Redox is a good example. We've got somebody on the uh, blood glucose side that we'll also be doing a special integration with. Okay, great. Um, can you elaborate on the, uh, the go-to-market strategy? So we've already uh, contracted, uh, we're in the process of contracting with uh, the Metabolic Syndrome Solution. And we'll be then taking that out directly to self-insured employer groups uh, with both a metabolic syndrome and uh, if they've got chronic disease uh, messages. And so I think the, the go-to-market is going to be direct sales uh, and followed after that through certain brokers uh, who can then sell it as a value-add service to their clients. Okay, uh, last question we have time for is uh, can you elaborate on or speak more to the partnerships that you have with companies such as Blue Cross Blue Shield or any types of business that you're uh, working through those partner channels? Uh, so we don't currently, so uh, AJ had prior, uh, in a prior life worked for Blue Cross Blue Shield. Uh, as the product is ready, we expect to be uh, presenting our solution back to various uh, Blues plans, and we hope by next year to be in partnership with them. Okay, great. Thanks, Andy. That's all we have time for at this moment. Um, if you do have other questions, feel free to type them in now, and, and the webinar software will record those questions and allow us to connect you with Andy. Uh, for everyone else, um, as I mentioned earlier, we'll have the replays sent out after this. Feel free to share those within your, your contacts if you know anyone that might be interested in, in hearing these pitches. And uh, we appreciate your time. One, more, one last thing is we're going to have an educational webinar at the end of the month. Um, you, if you didn't get an invitation for it yet, you will soon. Keep your eyes out for that. It's going to be presented by Conscious Venture Labs, discussing the power of conscious capital and how to 
use uh, conscious capitalism to boost your employee morale and the quality of your of your business. Um, thanks again, everyone, for attending. Great presentations, Andy, uh, Benji, and and Rick. And that's all I have right now. Any, any closing remarks from you, Lyle? Uh, no, just thank you again. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, again, type them in. Or you can also send questions about any company to info at springboardequity.com. So uh, appreciate you tuning in and uh, uh, see you uh, in an upcoming webinar. Thanks.